Hello IT Pros, welcome back to my IT Workshop. Today we are going to, well, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware, the BIOS version of your, of uh, Dell Optiplex 9030, all in one. Okay, so if you're wondering how the computer looks, here you have it. Uh, it's all in one, which means the motherboard, the screen, um, the monitor, um, the RAM, the processor, everything is in, in wrapped in one big device. This one is, if I remember correctly, 20, 20, 23 inches. So it's a, it's a kind of big monitor. So in the back, uh, the other thing we're going to need is the serial number, which is normally in the back of, uh, of the device. So uh, if we open a CMD and we type system info, we're going to get information about this, uh, this computer. So there is system info. We have the Microsoft Windows Windows 10 Pro. We have the build. Uh, we have uh, system manufacturer, which is Dell. And then we have the the actual model of the of the system, which is Optiplex 9030 all in one. Uh, it's a 64 processor. And the most important part here for us is the BIOS version, which is, as you can see, the well, A07, which came out in 2015, which is uh, some years ago. So that's why we need to update it. But first, in order to make sure that there is an update, because sometimes there is not an update for, for your motherboard. So we go to Dell.com. We're going to, to go to support and then uh, drivers and downloads. So we click on it and it's going to ask us for our, our service stack. It's just a serial number as well. And sometimes we have serial number and service stack. So in order to get that, as I mentioned before, you can get it from the back of the device or if you open a CMD and you type the command WMIC BIOS get serial number, you're going to get a seven digit uh, code in order to point you to the right model. Of, uh, of this, in this case, this uh, Dell Optiplex 9030. So after you get the number, well, you click on, you press enter, and you're going to be directed to this, uh, to, um, to the next step. So you scroll down, you go to drivers and download, and you by default have all the possible, uh, all the compatible updates. So in this case, we only need the BIOS. So we type BIOS, and the most recent version is going to pop up. So this one came out in November 20, 2018. So this is pretty recent, and we're going to download it. So I already have it, so I'm going to cancel it. And as you can see, it I have it right there. So the next step is just to click on it and make sure that everything is safe and, uh, and that you have, and it's connected to a reliable so a reliable outlet on the wall so you don't have any problems in the while updating so here is some information about the update this utility will update the BIOS version the BIOS and firmware during the update procedure your system will restart before you continue close up all the documents so um, interruption of the BIOS firmware update procedures will likely render your system unusable so that's what I, what I wanted to point out so make sure that you have all that in order so we click OK then we have this. Uh, our actual version is A07, and the new one is A21. So it's an update. So we are going to update from A07 to A21. So we click OK again, and the process uh, is now it's going to continue and it's going to restart our computer. That's why I changed to my cell phone. So I have accelerated the video, so you don't have to wait all the. Uh, all the time that it takes to restart the machine and all the process. So you can see here, updating your system firmware, do not power down your system. This process takes around um, four, three minutes on average. So again, uh, the video is uh, sped up. So that's why you don't have to wait for all the process. So after the, the process is finished, uh, the computer is going to restart but this time we're going to press f2 so we're going to go to the bios and we're going to see the the version in the bios itself 
So here the computer is restarting and I'm pressing F2. So as you can see here, we, have, we are in the BIOS. Settings, general, uh, we are going to go to virtualization support. Well, we have many options here, like security, secure boot, performance. So we claim we expand to virtualization support. Uh, we select virtualization as, uh, and, and you see that it's enabled, enable inter-virtualization technology. Normally on the Dells, it's enabled by default, okay? And now we go to system information. As you can see, the BIOS version is A21. So we, had, uh, we, we have seen in Windows that we have A07. So the process has uh, achieved what we wanted. So now I just click exit and the system is going to restart again. So this restart took uh, a little longer than an average restart, but in the end we got it. So that's pretty much it about how to up, up, update the, the, the BIOS version for this Dell 9030 all-in-one. So that's for the video guys. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.